welcome back to the Fit and Fearless Female Show. This is a show we do every single Monday at 3 p.m. Pacific Time, 6 p.m. Eastern Time. And if you are in another country, I would need to go on Google to do the translation of what time it would be for you. Um, so today's discussion is how to reduce belly fat and get flat abs. I have some amazing information for you today that's going to change the game for you and your body and your health and your weight loss and we're just gonna have a lot of fun. I want you to bring all your questions and just show me what you got. Like whatever you need to know, I'm here to help. And I also have a special guest who's gonna be on the show today. I'm really excited about, he's very handsome. Very, very handsome. Actually, it could be one of two guests. You, you might have a surprise guest that's a cat. So the other day, Josh and I found a cat outside and um, he's awesome and he's really cool and I hope he jumps up here in the video. So yeah, let's, okay, before we get started, while I'm waiting for everybody to join on, Jonathan Henderson, what's up? What's up, Jonathan? Hey, so before we get started, I'm going to share this into my Body Built by Love family private group so they know that we're all live right now and they can all join too and ask their questions. So while we're waiting, let me know where are you joining in from, what state and or what country are you tuning in from today? I'd love to hear from you guys. So I'm just going to go on here and I am going to share on the page. And in the meantime, we're going to be talking today about the, <laughs> I lost my train of thought for a second there, um, how you can reduce belly bloat and get flat abs. So a good topic, right? This is important. Even in like the winter time, the cold of winter, um, you can still be having nice flat abs and there's a reason why you might be having trouble with it. So sharing this. And then, let me just make sure it goes into my group. If you guys don't know about that group, by the way, it's a private Facebook page. I post in it every single day, really inspiring stuff for the body um, and the mind. And it's pretty, pretty powerful stuff. Ooh, mm. looks like my very handsome hey. special guest number one is here. So I heard you were talking about removing belly bloat and getting flat out. Yeah, just Sounds in fun. time. Perfect. So guys, you should definitely take this information too. I think a lot yeah, of guys, for guys and girls. it's all about building muscle and having certain aesthetics, which is cool. Don't get me wrong. But at the same time, most guys, the diets we eat, the things we're doing, we suffer from a lot of bloating or inflammation, but mm. it's kind of like what they call chronic. So it's really mild and you don't notice it and it builds up over time. Look yeah, that, look yeah. at those hearts. Ooh, Loving ooh, ooh, it. it's raining. Thank you. It's raining hearts. And uh, you don't realize you're, you're having these <laughs> small amounts of inflammation and bloating, which then build up. So over 30, 40, 50 years, and that's when you have issues later. So it's really good to take these tips, even if you don't have a problem with actual bloating out or weight, mm -hmm. just do this stuff to keep the organs clean. It's like keeping the interior uh, engine of your car clean. You know, you want to keep those pipes running smooth all Look the time. All those hearts Loving for it. you. I'll take them. So I'll take them. Awesome. <laughs> so guys, if you're just joining, let us know what state and or what country you're joining in from. Say hello. Say hi to us. We'd love yeah, to see you. Yeah, Jonathan. What's oh, up? Oh, yeah. Woo, woo, we got a lot of people oh, on man, here today. Oh, man. Yes, Penn State. That's my alma mater. Oh, yeah. Doug, yes. I know you from oh, Penn State. <laughs> Doug. He can be our Doug today. You could, I'll be you, Doug. <laughs> <laughs> Henderson, or Versailles, Kentucky. I know how to say that now because nice. of Josh. Yeah. Um, we're talking about well, how to reduce I belly bloat and, oh, oops, <laughs> I, I still got it. <laughs> um, we're talking about how to reduce belly bloat and get flat abs, so stay tuned. We're just getting started. Everybody's just kind of tuning in right now, getting ready. Mississippi, Atlanta, uh -oh. Georgia, Man. Cabrina, I know you're in PA. Shelly says, I just That's love your live videos. Awesome. I just love you on our live videos, Shelly. Thank you for being here. Jonathan Bachelor, what from Fiji? All the way from Fiji, JB, yes. JB, JT, I'm, MC, <laughs> all in this house. MC is Money Cat, our cat, which we, I miss like, you know the Money Cats? I really do. I know, like, guys. I miss, it's so I fun to wake some. up to them and just like radiating energy. He says, I love you guys. There's that, there's that Jonathan happiness yeah, and yeah. love. Fiji, SoCal, Corey, what's up, Corey? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, guys, this is a great show. If you're just joining in, let us know 
what state and what country you're joining in from, and we're gonna get into this topic. So let's do it. Before we do that, actually, because Jonathan is right here on the show right now. Oh yeah. We have some exciting stuff we'll be talking about at the end of this video too, which is we're teaming up with Jonathan and Lynette, who just moved to Fiji Ooh, to do to hold so retreats cool. and do all kinds of wellness immersion programs. Yeah, and really pioneering a whole new life for themselves. Totally pioneering it's cool. and. We have teamed up with them. So Josh, myself, Jonathan, and Lynette are yeah. putting together a package where you can get the ultimate health transformation. It's coaching. So it's either by phone or by video. You can do it from anywhere in the world. Yeah. You know, we'll all be all over the world doing this training. I'll yep. tell you more Six about it later, but it's going to be absolutely, unbelievably incredible. Um, just the kind of influence that's going to be going on there with the four of us. You've got... Uh, meditation, mobility, Jonathan bringing in the happiness, positivity factor, Lynette bringing in the nutrition and the health and really telling you what products actually are healthy mm -hmm. and what's actually good for you. And then I'm bringing the fitness element into it, how to make it fun and how to make it easy, make it go on yes. autopilot. And we're all bringing the mindset. So it's going to be simple. It's going to be, like, be fun. Ooh, it's going to be a, a really large group of family. We're excited. Ah, it's going to be epic. So we'll tell you more about it later. If you guys want to stick around for that, it's going to be some really cool info um, yep. just on how it all works and everything. But Jonathan says meow, meow. <laughs> oh, by the way, speaking of meow. Don't worry, I'll hold down the screen for a little bit. I know everybody wants to see me. <laughs> I need to do that. Guys, this is our cat. This is Money Cat. That's Money Cat. He kind of came out of nowhere, him. just throwing his paw up. He's like, I'm a Money Cat. <laughs> Josh has a song for him too. He Maybe you'll it. get that later. So let's go, get right into the subject. It is Monday. One of the things I do consistently for you is I make a video every Monday at 3 p.m. Pacific time. I'm always nice. here talking about some kind of a topic that's going to help you live a healthier, happier, better life. So today it's how to remove belly fat and reduce belly fat. Awesome. Belly fat. <laughs> Well, and get that. flat abs. Okay, so this is something that it just it feels good to have nice flat abs. It feels healthy and you feel strong when you have some nice Seriously. toned muscle there. Mm -hmm. Here's the key. So when you have puffy, non-flat abs, a lot of times that is because you have inflammation in your body. Yep. And, or let's call it bloating. So. If you're feeling puffy, if you feel like your abs just aren't flat, or maybe you do work out and you just can't seem to get the bellies part to go down or go away. I get that question so much. How yeah. can I get flat abs? So here, this one is for you. Or if you're just feeling like you're just getting started with and you're like, flat abs would be a great thing. Mm. This is great info for you because it's not always completely corresponding to the workouts you're doing or the food you're eating. Those have a huge impact on it, but not necessarily all of the impact. Yeah. So what's going on if you're bloated is you're inflamed. And when there's inflammation in your body, <laughs> like how you put the pillow. <laughs> I think I I'm messing with the. Uh, I think I'm messing with the color. Oh, it's like. Ding, yeah. ding, ding, ding. Let, me get, let me get up here. This couch, side of the couch, sinks a little lower. <laughs> I see that. We must sit there all the time. Yeah. Um, so when you have bloating going on, it's a sign of inflammation, and yep. inflammation is a sign that you are out of balance. Your body yep. is out of balance in some way. And there are so many things, right, that lead to inflammation. Oh, yeah. So many, so things. many things. And it can be anything from, like, the, there's a lot of foods in the typical standard American diet, SAD, mm -hmm. S-A-D, um, that are inflammatory. Yeah. And that's things like um, processed dairy, uh, processed meats, processed foods, sugar is inflammatory, hmm. caffeine is inflammatory, um, the list can go on and on and on. Yep. And this is, for a lot of people, their whole diet. <laughs> like everything they're eating is inflammatory. And then they're wondering why their health is suffering or why um, their skin doesn't look as clear or yeah. healthy as it could look. Wow. Um, and many, many other things. Hair, skin, nails, everything is related yep. um, to inflammation. So there's inflammatory foods. There are inflammatory drinks, AKA mm. 
um, caffeine, alcohol, sugary things like sodas, they're all inflammatory. They're all gonna add inflammation in the body. And yeah. inflammation is like, if you think of a time when you've like stubbed your toe and it just feels like it's just throbbing, right? <laughs> and it feels like it's like red and throbbing and it's just like, ah, like hurting, hurting, hurting. <laughs> it's inflammation. Just think of your entire Stop. inside organs and everything being inflamed, like feeling like a throbbing sore toe. <laughs> um, when you hit at. it against a wall or something or stuff. It's a pretty it. strong picture. Yeah. And so that's most people's bodies on mm -hmm. the inside. Uh, most people are super inflamed and they don't even know it. And the, so it's food, <laughs> alcohol, a lot of things. You can breathe in inflammatory air if you're not getting a lot of fresh air. Um, that can even be inflammatory. A lot of the water. A lot water, of the water can you be drink inflammatory. Is, especially if you're drinking crappy bottled water that's not pure. Yeah, so, you know, all these things play a huge part, but the component that interests me the most, because I feel it has the biggest impact and it has the biggest possibility for you to flip it yep. really fast, is stress. Mm. Stress is also super inflammatory. Sure. So you might be like, well, I'm eating really well and I'm working out. Oh, by the way, working out is inflammatory. So um, it's really good to have very anti-inflammatory foods and drinks to have after a workout. It's really good to do anti-inflammatory things like Josh's mobility workouts, um, a lot of things Chugging like green juice. green juice, like yoga, like things like that are, are less inflammatory. They're more like stretching the body, yeah. um, you know, reducing the inflammation, things like that. But um, so food, drinks, workouts, mm. but then there's stress. Yeah. And stress is a thing that, although it feels like everything, <laughs> like it's like the, the end all be all of your life, like how could I ever get rid of stress? I have just stress everywhere. Uh, it seems like we have a society of stress. It's very easy to shift because it's all in your mind. It's mm -hmm. just a simple mindset shift. And um, before I go more in detail with that on how that can eliminate belly bloat, um, would, is there anything you want to say about inflammation? I know I kind of like went on a ramble there. Like I'm you really much excited. You said it all. I think the thing that comes up for me the most, though, is this idea that a lot of people don't realize the consequences of living in a state of, of being slightly bloated or slightly inflamed mm. throughout their body. And they, they just say, oh, I look good now or I feel good right now. Thus, it's something that doesn't really matter or doesn't affect me or I'll deal with it later. Mm -hmm. And when you are in that state, it's just really important to get out of it as quick as possible and maintain in a balanced state. Because like we said in the beginning of the video, these little things build up over time. That's what they call chronic diseases or chronic illnesses, excuse me, is mm -hmm. when you're not living in that place of balance and it may not affect you that day, but maybe 10, 15 years down the road it will. And mm -hmm. that's the life we got to start thinking about. If we're thinking about it that way, it makes it so simple to remain healthy your entire life. Good point. Yeah. Josh is always, always taking it back to like, how do you want to be when you're a hundred years old? Like, do you want to be mobile and like running around and playing exactly. and like still snowboarding and surfing? Because you, you do can it. be if you treat your body the right way now and you yep. care for it the right way for the next however many years of your life. Yep. Um, it's huge. Yeah. And yeah, inflammation really is like people <laughs> when they talk about like stress or not stress, but um, diseases and things like that. They're not this huge mystery. <laughs> Bunny Cat's making a lot of noise over there. <laughs> He's just in his own world playing. He's doing his thing. <laughs> um, diseases are not some big mystery. Diseases, I mean, science shows that d the beginning of disease, which by the way is dis-ease, there's a, a lack of ease within the body. And the beginning of disease is inflammation. Inflammation mm -hmm. leads to a lot of the things that we suffer from and struggle with on a daily basis. And we don't have to. Like yeah. you have the power and you have the opportunity and the choice and everything to shift it. And there's awesome. so many things you can do to reduce inflammation. Yeah. But on a bigger scale or, or a smaller scale, depending on how you look at things, um, if you're looking to reduce belly bloat, it's a, it's a simple shift of inflammation. Very simple. I hate when I hear that women are like struggling. They're just like, I can't get like, 
I just want to feel good in a bikini and have flat abs. And number one, feeling good in a bikini comes from your mindset first and really truly loving yourself at the core. But number two, you can have flat abs also. And those can happen when you reduce a lot of that inflammation. And that's when it becomes like, oh my gosh, I've been waiting for this my whole life. That's the response that I'm looking for from my body. Um, So... I say I think you touched on it though that it doesn't have to be an aesthetic thing. This is just something that is all around general how your organs function, how your body feels. Money Cat obviously is not inflamed he's, or bloated. He's, he's, he's really not inflamed. He's doing good. his thing. He's moving around gracefully. Well, we've all been time. feeding him like organic yeah. chicken <laughs> and rice. I don't know if they can he's hear all the noise he's making, but he's just rampaging. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh my gosh, he's so cute. <laughs> What were you saying? Just saying it's not about aesthetics. Like you said, it, yeah. this will a byproduct of this is the aesthetics will, will improve because the, the bloating goes away. The abs will start to show through. But that is a byproduct of just being in alignment, being ultimately healthy. Yeah. So that's cool you said that. You know, It's not about looking good in the bikini, but that will happen naturally. But you can have that too, yeah. Exactly. Um, okay, so we've got some comments. Before we get into that, I'm going to show you one thing that you can do right now to reduce inflammation. What is he doing? <laughs> He's actually playing in the bathtub right He's now. He runs around. He runs to the house like Storm and Dew, jumps in the bathtub and surfs around the, the dish of yeah. it like he's like a big wave surfer. Like comes out like Laird Hamilton, just <laughs> fires out and then shoots out the other side. It's pretty rad. He's pretty badass. Pretty gnarly cat. Oh, by the way, he jumped off our balcony today. Third story balcony. Third story onto like one of those Italian like really tall skinny trees. <laughs> like just like pfft. we're like all right, cool, <laughs> like. Yeah, adventurous. He scaled down it when it was gone, and then he appeared like an hour later crying for me to pick him up. Oh, I'm so, so glad you found him. I got so sad. I was like, no, money cat's gone. <laughs> but anyway, okay, before we get into the questions, let me show you one thing you can do right now to yes. reduce inflammation. You can drink kombucha. So Josh Ooh. and I drink kombucha today. We try and drink one Ow. every day or so have some sauerkraut. It's 45 I was <laughs> sipping earlier. Brown bottle. Right? This is health aid. You got a brown bag it's incredible. Mmm. No, Health Aid did Cheers. not pay us to, to talk about them. But we love this brand so much. Um, so this is like locally made. Uh, we get it at Whole Foods. It's organic, non-GMO, mm-hmm. uh, gluten-free, of course. It's raw. I'm so um, glad it didn't explode when you open it. Just me so you know, too. it's not always as graceful when you open these. Mm. Sometimes they are a little busy and they pff, keep going. Oh, so my gosh. That don't open it in the stuff, bathtub yeah. yesterday. Okay. I was taking a bath and I was like drinking kombucha. It was like... Pff, it's a pretty good place for that. Yeah, so at least have it in the. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you can drink anti inflammatory things like fermented foods. Um, mm. Apple cider, raw awesome. apple cider vinegar Braggs is a great yep. brand for that. Kombucha, yep. sauerkraut. Um, I'll grab some Braggs while you're talking. Oh, that'd be great. Thanks. Yeah, it's good to know what the bottle looks like, right, guys? Just helpful when you go to the store. So these are amazing, very low in sugar. If you're buying kombucha, that's something you want to look out for. Uh, look at the sugar context. Some of them have like 10 grams of sugar, which is completely unnecessary. Um, the ones we drink, like this one, is two grams. And this tastes like champagne. Yeah, it's incredible. So for all you alcohol lovers, this is a beautiful alternative. Oh, yes. I used to drink this when I was doing a, a month cleanse. And I was drinking a lot at that time. Um, instead of drinking alcohol, I'd bring this, and I'd still feel like, oh, I got something fizzy and bubbly, and it's fun, and it's nice. Definitely. It looks cool And it's glass. good for you. Believe that. So, okay, mm-hmm. let's read some comments, and then I'll tell you another way where you can hey, reduce Sanu. inflammation. What's up, brother? There's your boy. We yeah. got him. He missed Sanu. us yesterday. All right. So Mike's here. What's up, Mike? Now you're talking. Mm-hmm. Mike knows what's up. He's Jonathan. Jonathan says, you better be prepared for the true transformation if you're going to sign up with Lynette, Steph, Josh, and myself. We are not only going to be just telling you how to change your diet, mindset, and exercise, but we're going to be keeping yeah. you informed on how to maintain that transformation and total uh-huh. body restoration. I'm like reading it like, I'm going to sign up for that. Wait, I'm leading it. Yes. It sounds that good. going to be incredible. I know. It's going to be so good. Um, we'll talk about that more at the end of this video. So if you guys want to stay tuned for that, um, for now, I'm going to tell you how you can reduce belly blow and get flat abs by calming down your inflammation. Mm. And 
So other than drinking kombuchas, and honestly, we could list a million ways to reduce inflammation. There's so many amazing ways, lemons, um, uh, ginger turmeric teas, things like that. Mm -hmm. You'll learn more about those things within the course that we're doing that we're going to be talking about later. Yeah. Um, but let me get into my, my piece that I feel is so important, which is your mindset and your stress levels. So stress is ridiculously inflammatory. It is. Like bad. For really, sure. really, really inflammatory. And you could be eating the healthiest diet in the world and drinking really healthy drinks. But if you're super stressed, it will stay. That inflammation will stay. And let me tell you a story about that. So... When I was getting healthier, mm -hmm. I, was, I was that person eating all the healthy things. Um, I realized that I had, I went to the naturopathic doctor and they told me that I had an overgrowth of candida, which is again, some inflammation. It's bad bacteria um, that happens. You all, everybody has bacteria in their gut and we wanna have more good bacteria than bad bacteria, but most people, if they're inflamed, especially have more bad bacteria than good. And back then I had a lot more bad bacteria than good bacteria. Um, mm. Just because of the diet I grew up on, um, I took a lot of antibiotics growing up. Um, I was taking a nasal spray for my allergies, which has some steroids in it. That's also um, cuts out your gut flora. Yep. The good bacteria it takes it away. So that's why I need this stuff. This stuff is great for that. Um, so. I just had a thought in between, but I went to the naturopathic doctor and they told me that I had this candida overgrowth and they said, okay, you've got to like, you've got to take care of this. Otherwise it's going to just be, you know, leading to diseases and stuff that you don't want to deal with. And I was like, cool. Yeah, I definitely don't want to go there. So let me prevent it now and take care of it. So yep. she assigned me all of these nice supplements, really amazing stuff. Um, that's when I went on that candida cleanse that I was talking mm. about, the month-long cleanse, um, where I, I reduced, like, there was no alcohol, no sugar, no mm. caffeine, no dairy, no meat. Um, it was very, very restrictive, but I was like, wow. you know what? I'm willing to do this because I want to get my body as healthy as it can possibly be. So I did it a full month, like, totally committed, did not skip out on it, did not cheat, nothing. And I took all the supplements she gave me, and I went back, and I was like, I still feel like crap. And she was like, yeah, you still have a really bad, like overgrowth of bad bacteria. And I was like, what is going on? And she said, you know, there's something else here. And it's your stress level. She said, you are doing like 90% more than most people do with this. And theirs goes away. Like they do 10% of what you're doing and their stuff goes away. She said, there's a lot more going on here. You're way stressed. You got a, a inflammatory mm. mindset yeah. That's right. and it's leading for you to, you even are doing all the stuff that should make it a go away and it's not. So I tell you that story so you understand that stress overrides so much and mm. your mindset overrides so much. Your mindset can override stress. So that's why wow. it's powerful to have a really strong mindset. Yeah. 100%. And I think the biggest thing people don't realize is, is that when you're in that stressful state, other people around you are feeling that too. And then you keep creating more stress around you. So you don't even recognize you're in that stressful environment, but it becomes this actual place that you live in. And so it's really, really important that you have the people around you be able to give you feedback on that, you know, For not sure. being sensitive to it. It's actually be able to talk about it, let it out. Yeah, it's huge. It's absolutely huge. That's why all the courses I create, Body Built by Love, Fit to Find Love, Healthy Holiday Mindset course, everything I make is designed with video trainings so yep. that you understand how to shape your mindset and how you control your mindset, not let your mindset control you. Because exactly. when your mindset controls you, that's when you get super stressed out. That's mm -hmm. where stress comes from. Because if you're controlling your own mindset, you can have really really shitty things happen to you and just be like, you know what? I'm going to find the gift in that. Perfect. Now I'm seeing all the benefits and everything's cool. Yep. Um, but when your mind controls you, you only see the disadvantages and you, it takes over your life. You so know, true. like you get rear ended by somebody or something. You're right. And you're just like, Oh my gosh, this is terrible. Now I, um, I got to pay money to get this 
fix and I got to take time and all this stuff. That's you letting your mind control you and take the best of you. Um, if you are able to control your own mindset, you would see, oh, this happened for a reason. Maybe I was avoiding um, something worse happening earlier. Maybe I wasn't supposed to go where I was going on time. Um, maybe I'm supposed to go to the auto detail place because I'm supposed to meet the love of my life there. Or maybe I'm supposed to meet my best friend there. Or maybe I'm supposed to have my life changed in some way because I go get this car fixed at this certain place. Um, it's starting to really utilize your brain. And that's just one small example. But um, guys, it is the utmost importance, so important for you to control your mind, not let your mind control you. Uh, that's where Body Built by Love comes from because science shows that your cells respond to your thoughts. So if your thoughts are terrible and mean and um, always seeing the worst in everything, your cells are picking up on that and they're building your body with fear, shame, guilt, judgment, mm -hmm. criticism, yeah. instead of building your body with love. So if yeah, you I think whenever you're looking at the body, you'll notice the, the stress that puts on, the, the weight that gets put on by stress will usually be right around the midsection because it's that cortisol release. So you might say, oh, well, this is a scientific thing. It's not an emotional or energetic thing, but it is emotional, energetic, which it manifests is. into the, in the physical. That's the thing. It's like it all starts here in this emotional state that's kind of intangible, intangible, and then it turns into something tangible by releasing cortisol into the body, which causes more and more fat to stay on no matter how hard you work, no matter how hard you're eating properly. So you've got to shift that. And so you can usually tell by when you have the midsection weight, maybe even some in the thighs or the hips, that's where it starts to pack on. That's a pretty good indicator that it's going to be something directly related to stress. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we can do a future video on this if you're interested in it. If you are, leave a comment below um, about what it means to carry weight in different places on your body. Because it's mm. saying something about you, your mindset, your emotional state, and everything. And it's easy to release it when you have that awareness of why. Yes. So um, somebody who carries, like a man who might carry a lot of weight up top, um, might mean something completely different emotionally or how they're, what they're trying to portray to the world than a woman yep. who carries a lot of weight on her hips mm -hmm. or somebody who carries all their weight in their stomach. You have noticed this, I'm sure, just by observing human beings that it's not like, oh, everybody wears fat the same way. Everybody wears fat a different way and fat is a protector. Fat, fat is a protection mechanism mm -hmm. that we use to save ourselves, to help ourselves. But really, we're like, you know what? I don't need that protective mechanism. I'm going to do it the mindset way. And the mindset way is reducing inflammation in the body. It's, it's really just like eliminating weight that doesn't serve you. Yeah, just doing your own thing and letting it all flow. Yeah. So hopefully you guys found that really, really helpful. Post any comments that you want below if you want me to make a video on that in the future about the um, where you're carrying the weight I can do that for you um, cool. let's chat a little bit about the course that we're doing with Lynette and Jonathan what are the are other, you guys still there I'm curious what the other foods are real quick are you mm. gonna talk about it in a minute um I was just gonna touch on it briefly but we can talk more about oh, it for cool. sure but well, we can talk about the, the program too I was just curious what the other ideas were so like we got the drink we can go into the food in a little bit um I wasn't Okay. I wasn't well, I, on the video. I, video. Like two I was going to just go into the stress. Two or three things to me are really important. Like maybe put out there some, some yeah. nutrient-based stuff. Because I think it's go easy to drink, but a lot of people start to make the put the band-aid on the bullet hole with drinking a lot of kombucha. And you can't drink, you don't want to drink two or three kombuchas a day. It's not really necessary. It's no, not about, not necessary. oh, I'm going to get something healthy and start chugging it down, or I'm going to drink 30 green juices a day. It's still got to have the balance. you got to find that. So I think a lot of times, thank you, I've been... I have a lot of inflammation because of all my job. Wow, cool. Sweet. That's awesome, Tiffany. Oh, Thanks for hi, being Tiffany. vulnerable and sharing that. Yeah, too. thank you so much for that comment. That's awesome. Seriously. Yeah, it's, it, it will all start to make more sense to you as you go forward, which is neat. And I think adding a little bit of the, the proper um, liquids into your, your lifestyle and then also having a few of these supplements for your nutrition. I'm mm -hmm. not sure where your nutrition is right now, but whatever it might be to start to supplement if you're not getting these proper things. So what's one of your favorites for food that oh, gosh. helps you remove inflammation? Well, this is something we found about six months ago and it's, I did it in the video from the beginning of the month, but fresh greens. Is that yeah. what you were thinking? Yeah, it's that's I love, but... I'm obsessed with fresh greens and it is, it will balance your pH. Um, it will make you more alkaline than acidic. 
Um, it is, it actually tastes really good when you mix it with the right stuff. Um, my body craves it. Yeah. And so it reduces inflammation. So that's something really important. If you're not, greens will reduce inflammation. Um, so a juice a day is amazing, a green juice a day, but I know not everybody's budgets allow that. So fresh greens is a really smart way to do that um, and get your greens every day and just a scoop of it. But um, I want to let you guys know too that I asked them if they would give me a discount to give to you guys if you want to buy it because I always want to save you some money. So yeah, you can save some money on it if you use my code, which is body built by love, one word. Uh, all lowercase and you can get the link for it on my website under favorite products that might be easier way to do it just go to stephendel.com click favorite products and you'll see fresh greens on there um but yeah that, that brand is bomb yeah and i think even if you don't get into the the green juice a salad at least a salad a day or a handful of greens of some sort leafy greens with your meals will really help to start break down a lot for you um remove a lot of inflammation the bloating which is just so it's so simple you know, you can get a really simple dressing, like just like a, a really healthy olive oil and vinaigrette, put a over top some greens, some lemon, um, some salt changing. pepper, boom. You know, and I think those are the type of foods that are still getting overlooked a lot. You know, our salads are really junky and full of a bunch of really high calorie, um, just poor ingredient dressings. And so if you keep that part simple too, you know, you can just add a little handful of that on top of something fun you're eating, something that you really love, that really speaks to you throughout your day. Mm. And just get that in. Even if it's grabbing a handful of spinach out of your refrigerator or something in that realm. And we do that go. sometimes. <laughs> yeah, just go like, like straight rabbit style. Um, and then, let's see, what's one other one? Um, greens, fresh they, greens, uh, about for from the, anti-inflammatory the, What about foods? from your nutrition plan? Yeah, that you use a lot. I guess oh, there's a couple in there. Well, all of the nutrition plan is anti-inflammatory foods. Mm -hmm. So I like think your beet burgers do a really good job. Yeah. They're pretty awesome. Black bean and beet burgers or um, red beet hummus. Yeah. Um, very healing. But especially like raw foods are great for it. Like the cucumber salad in there, that's mm, really that's good. Cool. It doesn't, it's not salad like greens. It's like cucumbers and vinegar and it has like sesame oil and sesame seeds and it's a um, Asian flavor. Yeah. So good. It's a um, lot of foods that will alkaline the body. So it's definitely alkaline, good to start yeah. switching that over. And um, for the people that are asking about coffee and Mike, I definitely appreciate that. The espresso is something that a lot of people tend to deal with. <laughs> a lot of people. A lot of people tend to have trouble getting away from. Mm. Um, and definitely, well, Denise, I don't, I don't know what um, you're talking about. as far as like, good suggestions <laughs> for that, so. my personal suggestion is always going to be matcha. Like matcha over anything. Mm. I think matcha, it gives you that kick you're looking for that most coffee will give you. And it has so much antioxidants. It's so high in antioxidants. But you got to get the ceremonial grade organic deal. Yes. And what we've been working on Very is a important. partnership with a certain company that we love. It's a little small farm out of Japan. Yeah. So we should have that stuff. up in about a week um, to get you like the, the proper source. So you know where to go for the resources. Uh, we should have that, that up on our site. And if not, then we can definitely just recommend a couple brands to you to get. Mm -hmm. But um, it's crucial. You know, important. It's so easy. It's just hot water and matcha. Because it's like Starbucks serves matcha, yeah. but it's not, that matcha is not going to do any good for you. Yeah. <laughs> it's very processed and not in the My mom, are you all alive now? <laughs> <laughs> Carol, love you. <laughs> My mom is a Facebook beast. She we love her. It. She's doing it. She's, she rocks Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Denise says, love my fresh with water and lemon. Yay. I know Denise. Um, was recently in one of my courses where we sent out a whole container of fresh greens. That was part. Mm -hmm. I sent a really special gift package to everybody who did the course. It was so fun. Awesome. Um, all my favorite products, and that was one of them. You got like a full size fresh greens, and that stuff yeah. is so game changing. Like once you start drinking it right, like don't you start craving it, Denise? I when I have a day where I miss it, I'm like, <gasps> I need some fresh greens. My body is just like yes, just like with green juice. Yeah, that's so cool. I think if you have those things on hand, it makes the coffee and all those moments where you're like, oh, what do I do next? A lot easier. But something else that I, that's my number two go-to for kicking the coffee cravings are having green juice around, an actual green juice. Like you don't want to keep them in the bottle because they don't last. Organic. But go get a nice organic green juice um, every morning. Start your morning and it will give you that kick because it does have- Get it organic or don't get it at all. It does have a bit of that blood sugar spike. So it's going to get you a little bit of that like adrenaline going or whatever it is that that you like about coffee 
Um, but it's not going to last for a long time, obviously. But it gets you in that first little hump for the day. And then you're pretty much good after that. Coffee is usually just something to stimulate the growth. And once you're off the coffee for a few weeks, and you can use matcha to kind of wean that, mm. you won't even think about coffee, honestly. Like After a week or two, just do a green juice in the morning, maybe a little matcha in, like late after, or early afternoon, late morning, and you'll be fine. It'll last you all day perfectly. Pretty good stuff. Mike said, does it taste good? No, it actually does not taste good. But you can make it taste really good. It tastes very grassy. Yeah. So kind of like a wheatgrass so, uh, flavor. I recommend like raw honey in that. It's raw really honey good. makes it amazing. Or um, you can also go, if you're like, if you're really just big on coffee, like getting that latte or something, mm -hmm. take your matcha into a coffee store, get them to make you a little matcha latte. They pour about 30 you cups of water, add the matcha, and they can steam some milk on top. Um, good to go. That's what I do a lot. Josh and I were on a road trip to San Francisco actually when we first started doing this and Josh was like, he was like, I'm just going to walk in and see if they'll use my matcha and make me a thing. He's like, I, I don't care if they charge me a little extra. This is, this means that much to me, yeah. you know, to have this good quality matcha. So everywhere we went did it. So it was pretty cool. Um, and another way that you can do it that we love so much, this is my favorite way to drink matcha. This is like the treat we make ourselves sometimes. We go, Josh invented this. I got to give mm. you full credit. Um, he's so good at flavors. He, we get a fresh Thai coconut from Whole Foods. Ooh, yeah. We have them chop it open. And so we scoop the meat out into our Vitamix and we pour the water in and we blend it, which makes coconut milk. And nice then level. we make a latte with a scoop of matcha and mm. oh my gosh, it tastes so good. So yeah. good. Amazing. It's incredible. All right. So Carol, um, will it kick the wine afternoon craving? To drink matcha? I think that's what you're asking. Um, I, I would say kombucha would kick a wine craving, maybe a little better than matcha. It just depends because yeah. I think like wine is probably you're looking for more of a relaxation feeling. Um, and matcha would make you feel more stimulated. So if you want to be super productive, like matcha definitely gets you like a lot of energy. So if you want to be productive, matcha, yes. Um, but if you want to be more chill, um, I'd say kombucha. Yeah. Kombucha is amazing like that. Um, you know what else would be good too is um, if anybody's buys into cacao, like steam oh. some cacao. That's something that a lot of people aren't doing, and you got to kind of figure out. I don't know how to make that best for you. I don't. I haven't, I haven't experimented a lot, but I love a hot cacao drink with some warm like almond milk in it. Mm. It's kind of got that chocolatey cocoa, hot chocolate feel, yeah. and that can be a good afternoon thing because it doesn't it doesn't send you into like high energy boost, but it does give you a little pick me up. Mm -hmm. So it's a little bit of that stimulation that you get from drinking wine in the beginning. Yeah, and then also it's that warm like satiating bring you back down. So that might be good as like a warm cacao with some kind of. You could even do the. Um, the coconut puree. Oh the my gosh, we haven't done that. I bet mean, it's amazing. Yeah. Um, and cacao also releases your happiness hormone. It releases the same hormone that you release when you're in love. So it makes you feel really, really good. And huh. cacao is phenomenal, phenomenally high in nutrients, especially when eaten raw. Yeah. So it's cacao amazing. is a health a health whatever you want to call it. I almost <laughs> yeah. said tonic, but it's not just a tonic. It's just cacao is a healthy superfood. Yeah. Um, it is amazing stuff. So uh, that would be great. And you'll feel really like lovey and happy when you drink some hot cacao. I have uh, recipes for healthy hot chocolate using cacao in my healthy oh, holiday so mindset good. course. Oh right? Gosh. Was that bomb? That was peppermint yeah. hot chocolate. That was epic. Oh. Like, that was next level. Yeah. And I still crave that. I need to make some. Yeah, that stuff is good. Yeah. You can make that outside the holidays. So Karen says, love you guys. We love you too, Karen. Yeah. What's a good food to satisfy my crazy sugar cravings? Ooh, that's a good question. We get that a lot too. So mm -hmm. sugar cravings can mean multiple things. But if you're looking specifically to just curb your sugar craving, I would do something like get fruit. Um, and I know that's kind of like, uh, fruit. I don't, yeah. I don't want fruit when I want sugar, but maybe get something in Carol who's watching. Carol suggested this to us for the first time and I love it. I use it all the time. Go buy yourself a thing of organic strawberries and yep. just eat them. They are so mm -hmm. sweet. They're like little pieces of candy, um, strawberries or blackberries or raspberries. And if you're like me, normally I don't buy that kind of stuff because I'm like, oh, you know, it's like five bucks for a small container and it's like, 
Yeah. I'd rather just buy something else with that money. Um, and I talk myself out of it, but truly, if you look at it as a dessert, so instead of buying your dessert, you buy yourself some of that. So Definitely. that's, that's my tip. We have multiple, um, options within the courses. We hit on cravings and sugar cravings specifically. So we have a whole video that's dedicated to that. So you got more on that, it's but pretty it's, a deep area. Yeah. it's got a lot going yeah. on. And most people are like, Oh, which last week, the fit to find love course got that video and everybody was like, holy crap. Um, <laughs> yeah. one of the girls, she said that totally changed the game for her. Um, and mm -hmm. her cravings have completely changed ever since she watched it. But, um, start with berries, start with berries is a great place to start. Yeah. And I think too, something else real quick that I don't really promote a lot of bananas. Cause I know people are hit and miss on bananas, but if you really are transitioning out of like the ice cream world, a banana ice cream is a good one. Mm. Chop up a banana, freeze it, blend it up, add a little bit of uh, almond milk, maybe some almond butter. So that goes a really long way. Um, so good. And it's good. And you can use peaches or strawberries for that as well to make like a some kind of a, a blend or a puree. Mm. Sorbet. Yeah, sorbet. Sorry. So yeah, I think it's an awesome transition food there. And there's definitely a whole, whole other world going on there. And so if you do have to have some honey, I mean some sugar, then go for raw local honey mm -hmm. and dates. um yeah or dates are really really full of a lot of antioxidants and dates are like woo. good energy and um you can always do the, the uh, three ingredient chocolate from liana warren gray's book the earth diet. Earth diet one of our great friends and steph uses this a lot throughout the program oh, we I have love it. I love but it's it. cacao honey and coconut oil mixed together so you can have a little Game bit of that changer. yeah so if it's if it's raw local honey you're gonna get a lot of nutrients in it um, okay, so we'll answer just a couple more questions because we don't want this video to get too long and we're still going to talk about the Be Fit, Live Happy course. So um, Mike says, "Does is Labrata protein powder? Okay, I don't know anything about it, Labrata. Yeah. Um, maybe you can send us more info on that. Is it a, I, I don't temp, typically um, recommend whey protein. It's very inflammatory, which is kind of counterintuitive to what you're doing. So yeah. Um, Carol says, what about carrageenan in milks? Any without? Yes, this is a huge thing. So anytime cool. you're buying almond nice. milk or coconut milk, yeah. there is a product within it called carrageenan and it is linked with some serious diseases and inflammation in the body and things that are just not what you want to be putting into this temple that you've got going on here. This temple of awesomeness that yeah. literally allows you to live this beautiful life that we live. Um, so look for it. I just saw that the Calif Calafia or Califa farms, which <laughs> they had carrageenan in it, they took it out of a lot of them. So I was really excited to see that. Cool. Um, but I'm pretty sure I don't really, I don't buy almond milk and coconut for that reason. Um, yeah. because there's a lot of added junk in it. So if I'm going to have milk, I usually just go buy a Thai coconut and I blend it up myself. Um, the meat and the water. Cool. Um, Brilliant. berries with 80% cacao shreds. So pretty and so good. Yeah. Yay. Sounds awesome. So good. Brilliant. <laughs> uh, Carol and Josh both make their food so beautiful. I'm always just yeah. in awe. Like so good that we like send each other pictures, food pictures, <laughs> <laughs> because it's just like, it, it should be posted. You should have a blog, Carol. You really should. She's getting there. She's, She's warming up to it. She makes cakes. Her cakes are also that's going to be our project for 2017. Sweet. <laughs> um, okay. So guys, the be fit, live happy course that we're creating. Yeah. So we're teaming up with our friends, Lynette and Jonathan. Lynette is known as the organic guru. She has been Rockstar. in the food Rockstar. and nutrition game for over 20 years. She Crazy. has like, she is to me, in my opinion, she is the best in the business. Mm -hmm. She's literally the only person I'll go to and trust for knowing what to use um, in my home and the yep. food products with mm -hmm. ingredients. She knows the exact details of um, how, like what is good and what's not. Um, she's on point. She's yep. really amazing. Um, she'll be so, talking about so nutrition, good. health, mm -hmm. Um, her husband, Jonathan, is incredible. We just met him for the first time. Yeah, he is an angel. Like, and he is an life. angel. He is so full of love and happiness and positivity. Um, and that's what he's going to be training you on in this course on how to live a healthy, happier, better life. Josh is coming in from the angle of meditation and mobility, two things he's super passionate about 
and in my opinion, also one of the best in the industry at um, you really are a game changer and mm -hmm. like he reduces like so many of his clients have come in and like lower back pain gone like totally yep. transforming their lives like they're more mobile they can move easily um, they feel better because do, don't you feel kind of like less like creaky and like you're aging when you can move really yeah. well when you know you can move when you feel confident about moving yeah yeah and that's he's so passionate about getting people like mobile so that they live to, Definitely. you know, a hundred with really healthy bodies that can do all kinds of stuff. Yep. Um, and then I'm coming in, I'm specifically working with the fitness element in this course Ooh, and how to make it really fun, yeah. how to make it really simple and put it on autopilot and just bring it in like yes. more love for yourself, less judgment, less That's guilt, less awesome. criticism, less shame, more love, more joy, more happiness. So the whole course, you're going to get four of us, Lynette, Jonathan, Josh, and I, for health experts that are going to guide you to the healthiest life you've ever had. So we have different options. You'll That's see cool. that one option is to have coaching calls with all of us every week. All four of us. Yeah. So that's like big time transformation. Massive, massive, massive support. Massive. And there's another option where you can also have our support via video and uh, handouts and all kinds of other awesome things. But yes. if you want to get involved in that right now, the best way to do it is look up a private group called be fit period, live happy exclamation point <laughs> and join awesome. it. And we'll be posting information on how to sign up, how to get involved, how to learn more. Everything's going to be in that group. So we invite you over there and we invite you into this course with us. It's starting mm -hmm. February 10th. Yeah. So do not wait. Don't hang and just be like, Oh, let me think about it. Like, if you want to get healthier, if you want 2017 to be the best year of your life, you've had Definitely. to take action. Definitely. And I'm not just saying that because like I'm leading the course. I'm just saying that from a place of like, if you want anything in your life, you got to take action and you got to say, yep. I don't know the how yet. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm just going to take this first step forward because we hinder ourselves. We limit ourselves by saying, Oh, I don't know if I deserve that, or I don't know if I can have that, or I don't know if I'll follow through on that, or I don't know exactly if I'll be good right. at that. Yep. And that's exactly why most people don't have the things they want in their life. Well, and I, and I just like to follow up with the idea of taking action. I think that rubs people sometimes. Like, I know it used to bother me a lot because I'd hear that and I felt pressured. And I know that's never your intentions. I know what you mean is just oh, yeah. to <laughs> move forward and don't be afraid to step into the unknown because most people are really afraid. But I'd like for those of people that maybe feel a little bit resistant to the idea of take action now, it doesn't mean you've got to go do a bunch of things and start running around wild trying to figure out. It means just commit to something. Commit. Whether it's, whether it's working with us in the next couple months or one of the other things that you just feel like you're very aligned and called to do mm. this, over this year, is just commit to it. It doesn't mean you have to do anything. See, that's what's cool about it. When you commit to something that is going to give you the support and it's going to give you the infrastructure of what to do, then you can just commit to it and allow yourself to be guided through it. So true. So I think when people say take action, what we're really saying is commit to something, which is yourself. Mm -hmm. Being your healthiest, being your best. Because if you're not committing to yourself, then you're not committing to anything. Because everything else around you is not something that's going to be there in the long term. You are going to be the thing that's going to be there in the long term. So you've got to commit to what is going to be truly yours for the rest of your life. Mm, I love that. And I... Uh, the reason I think that this course is so powerful yeah. is that you have the four of us. And as Josh said, like, if you just commit, then you'll just be around the four of us more often. You become like the five people you surround yourself with most. In this case, you become like the four people you surround yourself with most. Yep. So if your goal or your ambition is to get healthier or heal your body or um, find more joy and happiness in your life, then surround yourself with four people who are already experts at that. And you're naturally going to, like, if you did nothing in the course except yeah. just listen, your life would change because that is being like, the knowledge and the wisdom is being transferred to you. Exactly. So yeah, as he said, it's like, just do the commit first you, step. Yeah. Commit. When you commit to something, the and universe then starts the to align everything for blows. you. Yeah. yeah. It's like literally you commit and all the things start to line up. And I, I mean, I even would use a kind of extreme example. We've had people commit to our courses and then it didn't, it just did not quite work out the way that they um, had, had anticipated as far as them being able to actually go through the course. But because they committed, it put him in that space, which then we found them something else that worked out. So their whole life 
tangented in a different direction. Mm -hmm. So they would have never ever seen if they hadn't committed the course. Yeah. And then they ended up doing something that was really aligned with them. So it's like, if this is something that you commit to, you're going to find other ways of benefiting yourself along the way. Because we're here to help you. We're here to support you yeah. and give you resources no matter where it comes from. So I think yeah. it's cool. You know, it's like, I, I feel like people just get so stuck on the fear of commitment. And that's once they realize that, relationships, their health, everything gets better and better. And yeah. it'll all work out. There's always going to be an opportunity for growth and an opportunity to, to catalyze yourself when you just step into that place. Yeah, don't worry about the how. Just get started. Yeah. Um, there was a guy who signed up for our Fit to Find Love course literally a day. The mm. day that he signed up, the girl that he had a crush on committed to going to travel with him. Yep. Like, and that's what we're talking about. This is one of countless stories we could tell you about the course. When somebody signs up, something just happening in their life. And they just, like, I have so many times I'll start my Body Built by Love course, which is about weight loss and loving your body more. And the first day or the first week, mm -hmm. women will be like, I lost five pounds already. And I'm like, well, you didn't even eat the food yet or do the workouts, but you committed. And that's how the mind works. I'm telling you that your cells create your body and your cells hear what your thoughts think. So if your thoughts are like, cool, yeah. we're doing something, we're moving forward. I don't know how yet, but I know that things are changing Keep now. Moving, your yeah. body starts to transform immediately that fast. Yep. So fast. I don't know. I think I just want to tell a story real fast about my day to day because it was pretty cool. Cool. So yesterday I committed myself to being in a place of peace with everybody I meet and just being open, like an open channel and being free to talk with people. And so this new client I have that was in the gym this morning, uh, there's a, a place over in Corona Del Mar that I train people. Um, this new client literally really don't even know her at all. They came in and just got a new Aston Martin. And yes, the day before yesterday, somebody had been talking about Aston Martins, and we were all talking about how cool it'd be to drive one. I'm like, yeah, I would like, I would love to drive one. And that was 48 hours ago. And today, she walks in with her new Aston Martin and is talking about it, and she's all stoked on like the, the touch screen. She's not even, she didn't even know about the engine or care about the engineering of the car, which is totally cool. She was just, like stoked in her touch screen and her like the speakers in it and everything, and in the leather, and that was all she was hung up on. And um, she literally turns to me and is like, oh, why don't you take it for a spin? Go down to Laguna for the day. So I jumped in the car and just drove down to Laguna Beach and hung out in Aston Martin. Like this brand new, I don't even know what model it is. It was like the sexiest, like the sleek, long, almost looks, it's like in the same uh, category as Ferraris and all that good stuff. But it was sexy and it was fun. And my point was I just committed to be, to be in a different way and to being in the lifestyle I desire of living that lifestyle where anything like, there's no limits. Anything's possible any moment. And this lady who I don't even know handed me her $100,000 plus thousand dollar car. I don't even know how much the things cost. Yeah. She was like, here, go have fun. You know, and it's just one of those moments where I realized that the, powerful of commit, or the power of commitment is so powerful. Because mm -hmm. it just puts you in a place where you literally can be receiving whatever it is the universe wants to show you. Hey, this is your moment to shine. Yeah. This is your moment to, to, to grow and glow. And committing to a course in this experience where you have these type of professionals that want to see you be your best or committing to some other resolution you had this year, whatever it feels, it's like, yeah, man, I figured Mike would be done with that car. You probably oh, yeah. know exactly <laughs> what I'm talking about. Heck yeah. It's my man. Um, it's like you literally just open the universe up to tell you, hey, here's your next step. Go take it and have some fun and keep, t keep taking those steps. So. Yeah, we can't stress enough how it's, it, don't worry about the how. I like how it got Just lighter when you jump back there. I know. It's funny. I've been back there and it was all dark and then boom. My white sweater was like, ching. Yeah. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah. So guys, please, um, if this sounds right to you, just do it for yourself. Um, and you yeah. won't only be doing it for yourself. You'll be doing it for everyone around you because everyone benefits when you care for yourself better. Um, Definitely. It's like you got to put your safety mask on first. You have to. A lot of people are just putting everyone else's safety masks on and then being like, shoot, I don't have any time left for me to take care of me. Yep. But when you don't take care of you, you are not your best. So take care of you first so and then take about. care of everybody else. <laughs> yes. Nice. Health is a great way to do that. So we love you. We love each other. Mm, we love yes, Money Cat. Love you so much. And we're glad that you joined us today. We had lots of people on the video, which was great. Definitely. So um, thanks for being here, guys. We love you. Oh, also... 
Um, make sure that if you want to be a part of my Body Built by Love family Facebook group, you join that group. We do a cool. lot of cool stuff, lots of motivation every single day. You are more than welcome, more than invited. And um, make sure you follow me on Instagram for fun food stories and cute posts. And uh, I put cute posts. I put a lot of effort into my posts. Cute posts. Picking cute photos. Um, I love them. You know, all the emojis. I know. I know you're good at you know. It makes me pump when you do the heart. Um, And then. Oh, oh. And then I'm on YouTube. Oh, sorry. Yeah, like the. They need to make that an emoji so you can just send it across like... like Wave. <laughs> maybe That's a, a good idea. Like they need to make... Act, they have active emojis that are like animated. Maybe you can be that guy. I'm going like, to start you know in video games? Yeah, exactly. When they put the little like, it's like sensors a Gangnam, on I'll people. be like Gangnam style emoji. Emoji <laughs> world. <laughs> I can't wait for that. Um, so if you want to catch any of the previous episodes of the Fit and Fearless Female Show, go on YouTube. Um, I have a full playlist there of all the past episodes and... Uh, just have the best day ever and just know you're worthy of all the greatest things in life and that you're limitless and that what's the what's the other one we always like to say that I'm drawing a blank on um you're you can have it all that's it you that's can a have good it one. all boom there it is alright as we're heading out too I'm just gonna say we can sign up Mike I love to drink Starkey spring water that's my favorite water Ooh, in Starkey's a glass so bottle good. so love you all have a great day mwah